the person that's complaining need to be accountable. And I'm just being honest, you okay. know what I'm saying? Like, and he okay. noticed, he, you know, I don't know the whole story, but at, I know that one is trying. And I mean, 11 could be a little better with how he respond to things. And they was friends before this. It's like, man, but things have changed. And I understand that because life happens. But we gotta, it's the business side that we have to make sure that we don't let the personal get in the way of the business. And that's what we gotta do better as right now. Because we know it's an issue. Everybody's seen some, some things, but we need to, be able to talk talk things out as men, you know what I'm saying? And but we need to let personal stuff go, and, and and let's get right for this game because man, it's like a lot of stuff. Most of the time, it's just a conversation that just need to be had. But the person with the problem gotta want to talk to the person other than others. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Yo yo yo! Welcome back to the No Cut Sports Podcast with your host. Now, nah, Frazier, and you already know, we got some things we need to talk about today. But before we get started, if you could for me, please like, comment, and subscribe to always catch this vibe, man. You already know. Also, I'm moving the date for the free jersey giveaway to the end of this month. I will be announcing the winner either... So, the last three days of December, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so somewhere around that time. Get it out to you. Um, hopefully, we get the winner pick and they you know, get the information. Get it out to you by that weekend, and hopefully, you have it by January or the week of the 6th of January. So, um, only thing you got to do is subscribe to the channel, right? But also, please make sure your channel is public. I cannot enter your name or it won't show me your name, and um, I won't be able to enter it into the uh, the will that picks your name so or picks the, the person that wins. So, um, with that being said, please make sure you have all of that done so you can be entered into the free jersey giveaway. It's coming from the NFL Pro Shop, so get your receipt and all that. So um, with that being said, though, let's get into what we need to talk about today, man. A lot of things going on. Um, I did have a video. <laughs> I had a, I had notes and everything like that for my, my video for to recap the game, but I don't, I don't feel like that's an important part. Um, they ended up winning. Um, I'll talk about it right quick, but... Eagles did end up winning, um, going on 11 and two. Uh, Jake Elliott, kind of concerning, you know, missing some plays. I mean, missing some uh, field goals or missed the field goal, whatever the case may be. Um, cause of concern for me right there. Hopefully, my man can get his confidence back. Uh, also, the defense. Um, it, I know a lot of people are picking on the defense and they didn't play well, but I feel like the offense was the reason why they didn't play as well as they did. I feel like first half, um, the defense played pretty well, man. And then, um, you know, the offense not being able to get nothing clucking in that first half keeps your defense out there, and they're going to get more tired and more tired. And as the game went on, you know, you see players, you know, missing certain tackles and plays and just crazy things. So um, all that will lead me into this BG and this uh, Jalen Hurts situation and A.J. Brown. But um, but I re I'm, I'm kind of glad I waited to do this because they had the coordinators meeting today or the press conference uh Coordinator press conference. Let me slow down. I do apologize. But had the coordinator press conferences today. Um, listen to Vic Fangio, you know, all good and dandy, whatever the case may be. But I wanted to hear what Kellen Moore had to say now that this situation has come about um, with BG speaking out on WIP last night about the A.J. Brown situation. You know, A.J. Brown came out after the after the win against the Panthers saying that, um, you know, the pass needs to be fixed in this offense. And, um, you know, he was uh, – a extremely uh excuse me how do you say he said he was they asked him how oh, extremely difficult excuse me not getting the ball so um Kellen Moore so you know you start asking Kellen Moore some questions today about the offense and I feel like not that I, and I don't have first and I, and I respect the hell out of everybody I'm about to talk about first and foremost I want to get that out there but I feel like, and this is no disrespect, I know AJ, and AJ didn't name, he didn't say a name. That's why I'm not trying to come at Hurts. And then Jalen Hurts had a press conference saying that, you know, some of this ain't his call. Kellen Moore comes out today, right, in the press conference and says, they were like, well, the scripted players are only for the, you know, the first drive or the first, the first uh, quarter. Kellen Moore says, no, the scripted plays are sometimes, or a majority of the time, or for the first half. In my mind, I'm sitting here. You would think after what, what, what week we going into? 12, 13? I, I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't even know. 
But we're going we're we're too deep into the season to be like, why can't we still score in the first half? It makes no sense. Now, whoever is scripting these plays, and all due respect, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to start putting my man back under the fire, but this is a this is a Nick Sirianni led team. I know Nick be liking to have his hands on certain things and what he wanna see, but we ain't been seeing it. Now, if this is Kellen Moore as well. Just throw every just just throw it all away. I don't understand how you can go into a game. Yes, we all assume like I come on here and I'd be like, well, you know, huh, huh. The Steelers defense is this good and, and but their offense is this. So I'm expecting them to go out here and go do this. But say that's not available for you to do. Say that's not what they're giving you. Say they're doing something completely different. You stick with those scripted plays. You gotta go off script. I don't understand how you don't go off script and be like, all right, they playing cover two, we're gonna do this. They play in cover three, or they, we, they're going to do this. A lot of men in the box, we're going to do this. Instead of going scripted play after scripted play, and it's not, it hasn't been working all season. They only, they, they I've seen a statistic where it said, out of all the games this season, in the first half or the first quarter, they were only able to score six points, and that's not a touchdown. Those are two field goals. And I just said our field goal kicking is terrible. It's terrible. So terrible that uh, uh, Nick Sirianni does not, he goes for it on fourth because he's scared that, uh, uh, Jake Elliott is going to miss the 52. What was it 52 or 54 yards out? Because he just had missed. The, he had just recently had missed one earlier in the game. So I feel like the offense collectively, it's an offensive problem. I feel like it's more or less somebody is interfering with the offense. Okay, Jalen Hurts is sitting here saying it's not him. He said he's just doing what he's told pretty much in his press conference. And AJ Brown's not saying it's Jalen Hurts. That's what I'm sitting there saying. Everybody's sitting there saying it's Jalen because you know he's throwing the ball, which I understand. And I do, and I do think Jalen can play better. No disrespect to Jalen, but a hundred plus yards, bro. These last few games, understandable. We getting a win, but bro, you have to. There's play, and I, and I know it's hindsight, but it's plays like the first play of the drive. AJ Brown is open. Damn near, if it ain't a touchdown, it's a, it's a, it's a huge chunk game, huge. And and that's the reason why you got him. You know when he got that type of cover, you know you can sling that thing to him. It's like certain things like that. It, to me, it, it just doesn't make sense. And he checks the ball down. Now I know Hurts is probably in his in his own head, throwing all them picks last season. You know, he here to talk. We know they all here to talk. They can sit there and say all they want. Oh yeah, we don't we don't listen to the media. We just go out here and just play football. That's a mother effing lie. That's a. I wouldn't be surprised if they playing my joint on the big screen sometimes in in, in the locker room. Wouldn't be surprised. But my thing is this. My thing is this, if you hear us, why don't y'all just try and just, and I'm not sitting there saying they need to be better for us, but be better for the team, man. That's what BG was trying to explain on WIP. I know everybody's mad at BG, and he should have went about it a different way, but the team is winning. We are 11 and 2. If you want something changed in the offense, go go to go go. Y'all need to get together and go like yo figure it out. Let's do this instead because clearly that's what happened when they went in there with the bye. And they make me think too, like even with the bye, I remember Jordan Malata saying, you know, we, we don't have the offense just, just doesn't have to flow through Devontae Smith and AJ Brown. You know, use the offensive line. But the offensive line is going to be used for the run game. And that's what they've been, you know, and it's no disrespect. I'm I'm very appreciative of Saquon Barkley. But I don't want Saquon Barkley to be hindering Jalen Hurts. I feel like he just relies on I'm not saying he relies on it, but Jalen Hurts makes the pass that he needs to make all the time. But I feel like since the run game's been so uh, so prevalent this year, or maybe he's just not seen it. I don't know. I don't want to make excuses for him. But Jalen Hurts, I feel like, can be seen to feel a tad bit better with some of the things he's doing. When it's time for him to make the plays, though, he make the plays. Now, only thing, the only reason why I'm bringing this up is for the simple fact that when you go meet a team in a Super Bowl or you go meet a team in the playoffs like the Lions, and I said this before in a couple of videos, it's no way in the first half you can only score a field goal and think that the Lions are going to spare y'all, your defense is going to spare you enough to get you to the second half and you and you turn it on. So that's what I'm sitting there saying. So between the first half and the second half, and I've been saying this, who is calling the plays? It was the same thing I was saying last year. Is it Nick Sirianni? Clearly, I mean, I mean, it has to be. It has to be. I know everybody want to focus on, you know, um, what AJ's saying about, you know, no, man, this is offensively – Offensively, something is wrong between the quarterback and, and and the scripted plays because why in the first half are we not getting the ball to AJ? 
if it's if if all the players are scripted. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to read in between the lines. Like if everything is scripted prior to y'all even going into the game before they seeing what they do to you, why isn't AJ in the game playing then? I'm thinking AJ in the game playing now. Eight, now if Jalen Hurts is personally just looking him off because of the situation, then that's another situation I got a problem with. But I'm not saying that. If everything is scripted, why are we not getting the ball to our one and two? Why number one? Well, I guess you can say they're both number ones, but I cl- I call them the number one wide receivers for the simple fact that they both have immense talent. So, with all that being said, why are we not getting them the ball and just concentrating on a run? It throws me off. Now that's what they're if that's what they're offering, I understand, but it's still not being effective because they barely run the ball sometimes. I don't understand. I don't. Un- I'm not understanding what exactly is going on here, but I'm not going to sit on here and jump ship. I'm not going to sit on here and bash anybody. Do I think any? Do I think these players need to work on some things? Yeah, you know, maybe AJ Brown. You know, and we all know AJ Brown. I think he has a. I know I said this before, and somebody correct me. Uh, media degree or something like that. So I think he knows now, and then also being in the NFL, he knows like, all right, you know, if I say this, it's going to catch you know legs and it's going to run off. But I don't feel like it's as big as people are making it seem. I know they said Nick Sirianni came out and is uh, I see them eating lunch together. Like, uh, okay, like what the hell? Okay, I guess. But my thing, if it's if it was if it's a real problem, I hope that they can you know. And BG said it's not a real problem. It's just a conversation that needs to be had. So um, if it's a real problem, man, you know, I think these two guys can sit down. But at the end of the day, I just think it's AJ Brown wanting Jalen Hurts to step into what he know he can be. I re- like, 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 and we all keep talking about it in the media. And I know I said I wasn't going to hold it too long. But we seen it that Super Bowl season. We seen it that Super Bowl season. It was like Jalen wasn't playing. He was just reacting. It, w- it was just like, it's just like now you see him out there and it's like he's second guessing himself, second guessing himself because he don't want to throw a pick or turn the ball over, I understand. And he's been doing a very good job of it. But I just need them to figure out a common balance here. Cause other, cause other, other than this little small situation, I have no other, I have no other quarrels, okay, <laughs> with this team, man. I just need my my number one quarterback and my number one wide receiver to get on the same page, man. Y'all are best friends. I know y'all got love for one another, man. Um, and I don't want to get off. I don't want to get off script, man. I know it ain't nothing serious, but bro, I got a best friend. They ain't here no more. So my thing is, I wish I could. I wish I could beef with him. I wish we could have that conversation. So my thing is this. If it's something that can be squashed, if something that can be, uh, 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 you know, just, you know, just to the wayside until the season's over, then j- just do that. But you have a, bro, they re- you have a opportunity of a lifetime, bro. I seen he was talking about McNabb and, and T.O. when this all came out, and I don't even think it's that, bro. I really don't. I really, I, well, I hope I don't. I don't, I don't, I hope I don't. I don't know for sure. But one thing I do know is two young men got paid. Very good at what they do. Figure out a way to talk about it, man. I don't know who need to sit down with him. Maybe Saquon need to sit him down because I feel like Saquon kind of got that. He got that like that demeanor, like yo, come on, man, we're gonna talk about this, like, because we are so close. But see, sometimes I don't want to get the preaching on here, man. I and they and I and I see these guys pray. Sometimes, man, this is how you know you're about to have a breakthrough. Sometimes things go wrong before they go right. For real, bro. So maybe this is what was needed to get this team back refocused because we don't. Have, we had an early bye week. We're on a nine game winning streak now, right? Right. We've been winning. Maybe not the way he. Maybe not the way AJ won us to, but we've been winning. But to be able to, and and I'm not going to lie, to be able to win a Super Bowl, you can't be playing like this, bro. And I'm not just trying to put blame on one person. I'm talking about from Kellen Moore to the head coach to Jalen Hurts. To the team, simple and plain. If y'all want it, if y'all got a Super Bowl aspirations like I know y'all do, because I want to be winning these games the way y'all are. If y'all got Super Bowl aspirations, y'all got to get this offense tighter, synchronized, whatever word, whatever word y'all want to use. Y'all got to get it right. Y'all have to because we are so close. Plus, I got a ticket in. <laughs> I got a ticket in. I know, and I got, and I know I said this before, but I just feel like, bro, they have an opportunity to do something. And it's not just this year, but if they can keep it together the next few years, man, these guys are signed. Offense is signed, man, and defense has been looking good, and Vic Fangio's not going nowhere. So why mess up a great opportunity to be great in history? So, no, I said a whole lot there, man. I do apologize, but I did want to get on here and get that out. 
I do apologize for just rambling and things like that. But, man, we are too deep into the season to be having something like this affect us when we have an opportunity of a lifetime in front of us, man. We have one Super Bowl. Could have had, probably had two to three more. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But with this opportunity we have right now, man, we cannot let it slip. So, with that being said, this is now from the No Cut Sports Podcast. I appreciate y'all watching. And if you could for me, please like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, I hope the fellas get it together. And you already know, man. Go birds. I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all be safe.